Hi everyone, my name is Sandra Ahiwa, I'm Ariela's mother. Um, I want to talk about some issues uh, flying around on social media. I just want to talk about it, you know, give my own two cents and let everybody know what's really going on. First of all, I want to apologize to anyone I've offended. My last week I said a lot of things and I also want to apologize to Renee. Um, you will not be barren, you are going to have a lot of children. Um, that came from a place of anger, um, knowing that I'm a woman that supports other women. And that didn't really show who I really am. So with that, I apologize. I was married um, years ago, and out of that marriage came about two beautiful daughters. After that came Ariel. Um, I got divorced in 2017. And since then, we've been co-parenting our kids. During that time, along the line, I met um, Ubi Franklin. That was in May 2017 in London. Then in August 2017, Ubi came to New York and invited me to come to New York. Um, and that's when he officially asked me out and um, we officially started dating. So in December 2017, I came to Nigeria and um, I found out a lot of things that were going on that I felt like um, I found out that he was lying to me and uh, a lot of a lot of things. But unfortunately, um, I tried to get out of the whole situation and then I found out I was pregnant. And you all know the story back in 20, 2019 when the whole thing came out in the media about my pregnancy and everything and all the money, you know, he was owing me. And some of the women that came out, you know, saying the same thing. So moving forward, I decided to um, take care of my daughter. And also I didn't want my daughter to grow up and uh, without her dad, you know, in the picture. And um, my, other, my other kids, their father um, is in their life taking care of them and we're co-parenting in a very good way. He has his, he has his life going on. Um, we co-parent, we make sure our kids are good and that's it. And that's the same culture I was trying to bring over to Ubi. I don't know, maybe somewhere along the line, um, I don't know what he, you know, he's thinking or what he was thinking. Uh, and I see that uh, that wasn't working in co-parenting with him. But needless to say, I tried. I tried my, my best, even though a lot of people were saying I was desperate because um, I allow, I'm allowing this man to um, be in his daughter's life, but needless to say, I was still doing what I know, what, you know, what I think was best at that time. Moving forward to um, Ubi on his video saying that he takes care of his daughter, I um, mean, takes care of his kids. Okay, so Ubi, if you take care of your children, why am I sending funds to the mother of your child in South Africa? Nicola, I'm really sorry for doing this, um, but this situation calls for it. Uh, but that's one thing I want to address. If you're taking care of your children, why am I sending funds? And since Ariella was actually born, I can tell you that I haven't received any financial assistance from Obi. I haven't, not even one couple. All right. The last time I asked, okay, I want to put Ariel in daycare. Can we split the bill? It quarrel started. So since then, I haven't really asked him for anything because obviously I can afford it. So I didn't really ask him for anything. Um, so I'll be frank with you, that's a shame as a father. The father is supposed to be there for his child or um, his children, and be it financially, physically, emotionally, mentally. And um, I haven't seen that from you, unfortunately. Um, I made it, I actually um, spoke to B. Franklin about, um, uh, was, he was telling me he wanted to come to America and stuff like that to see, you know, want to see his kids. I was like, oh, I'm taking my kids on vacation um, in December. He's like, where are we going to? I said, I'm going to Dubai. Uh, we're going to Dubai. And besides that, I wanted to see my boyfriend. Um, and he was like, oh, I want to come along. I want to come along, please. I want to come along. And I said, okay, um, let's coordinate it. So um, I bought my ticket. I let him know that I bought my ticket and I gave him the dates that I bought my tickets uh, with my kids as well. And he was like, wow, you're really serious about going to Dubai? I was like, yeah. Then he um, came up to me. I was like, um, Sandra, you know, 
it would be nice it would be somehow you know you know if i realized there and my other kids i've not really you know seen them all that stuff like it'd be nice if they come along so yeah then they come along i have no problem with that then he was like um yeah um, but I don't have any money to bring them along, you know, I'm, you know, not financially stable right now. I said, no problem, I'll pay for the tickets. Um, just let me, give me the details and uh, I'll make that happen. That's what I told him. And he was, he was like, yeah, I'm really grateful. I'll pay you back, you know, yada, yada. I was like, okay, um, <clears throat> I'm just doing this for the kids because it'd be nice if everybody comes, come together as a family and enjoy Christmas. Um, unfortunately, um, uh, Jennifer couldn't make it with her daughter because of something happening to the passport. Uh, so she couldn't make it. And Nicola, for best reason known to her, she couldn't make it as well. She didn't come. But um, that was $4,000 gone. And I didn't complain about it. I didn't ask for my money back, even though I'm entitled to a refund. Uh, but I did not ask for that. And we're in the Christmas spirits. And I just wanted to, you know, have fun as we're in Dubai and don't let anything come, you know, between the uh, little happiness that we have going on. And moving forward, it was now left with, uh, uh, in Dubai, it was just me, my boyfriend, Ubi, and uh, my kids. Um, I introduced Ubi to my boyfriend. Um, I did that because I wanted to make sure um, there isn't any mixed feelings or any anything that's construed um, to make sure that we're actually there to, you know, co-parents and me introducing to my boyfriend was setting that boundary um, because there's so many things that have happened um, so many you know inappropriate text messages that um, I tried to eliminate and uh, I, I, I thought you know introducing to my boyfriend to actually see is one thing saying you have a boyfriend is one thing seen in physical that uh, yes this person really do have a boyfriend um, Anyways, we went shopping. We spent over forty to fifty thousand dollars on Ubi. Uh, Franklin, we upgraded his phone, um, to a Samsung phone as well. Um, and even after all that, he um, cloned my card and went on a shopping spree. I found out about that uh, when we came back from um, Dubai. That was like uh, weeks after I came back from Dubai because I don't really look at my um, statement because I do a lot of transactions. Uh, but before then, when we came back to Dubai, when, when we came back from Dubai, we'll be asked to please upgrade his tickets from economy to business class. And I did that. I did that because of my daughter um, and in a way of, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a boss myself and I'm dating a boss. And I don't want my, you know, my daughter's father to feel any type of way or anything like that. So I decided to do it out of the goodness of my heart and because of um, my daughter. So we decided to just, you know, upgrade his tickets. Uh, moving forward, we came back to, um, I came back to America. And sometime in January, uh, a blogger reached out to me and told me that, Ubi um, was saying saying some things about my children to her, you know, and she wanted to talk to me about it. And I was like, I don't understand. Ubi was saying stuff about my, because it didn't really make sense to me because um, I thought that we had so much, like we were in a good place. But uh, apparently, I guess I was wrong because he took my kids to a blogger. And I'm fortunate enough that the blogger is a woman and she came to me and uh, was telling me the things that Obi was, was saying about my children, which I find that very, very weird um, and very disappointing. Um, the fact that a 35-year-old man, a 35-year-old man with children will go to a blogger to talk about other people's children. I don't understand that. I really don't understand the whole thing so as you people know me now i know to hide my mouth i had to confront him like this is what you know i'm being told uh because of the details of what was involved he actually agreed and he apologized i cannot um at that point i was like i cannot be associated with this man because i can't be trying to make peace all the time 
and uh, every time it comes to bite me right in the ass. You know, I've tried so much to make peace with this man, uh, be in good terms and everything like that. Every time, even at the time that I asked for um, for um, help with Ariella, it, it was a disaster. So I don't even, I didn't even try it. I don't, I don't try it at all um, because I don't want any wala. You know, because the way it's being looked at right now is that uh, because I'm speaking my truth. I'm being seen maybe as a creative person, but honestly, like, um, I'm a different person. The way I handle things might be different from the next person, how or the next woman, how she handles it. With that being said, you know, I closed all line of communication from Ubi because I realized that um, this man talks a lot. Ubi Franklin talks a lot. And not only that does he talk a lot, he talks about people that are in his life. He talks about his friends. He talks about all his baby mamas. I know, I can tell you, he has spoken to me and talked about um, Lillian. He has talked about Jennifer. He has talked about Nicola to me. And I realized that this man that is coming to me, tell, coming to rant about these people to me and telling me this and that about, that means he's, he's probably doing the same to me and going to these people and telling them about me. And I realized this is the same thing he's doing to me and Renee. Um, honestly, I've moved on. I have a loving boyfriend that loves me and I will not stop a man. I won't even stop anybody from finding love. And um, I will never stop Ubi from finding love. If he wants to be with somebody, you go ahead. And um, I will never stop Ubi from finding love. If he wants to be with somebody, you go ahead and be with the person. But it should not be talking or trying to play down his, uh, you know, or talk down on his, on the mother of his child to another woman. You understand what I mean? Because this is the same thing he's doing now. Like, I don't know what he's trying to accomplish with Renee. I don't know what it is, but it's none of my business. But for a grown man, to start a relationship with somebody talking about his uh, the mother of his child and put her in a bad light is very disappointing. It's very, very disappointing. You never see my boyfriend coming online to write negative things about Ubi. You know, you, you will not see that. And, I, and I've, you know, you will not see me going to start talking negative, negative things about Ubi to my, to my boyfriend. You know, because that's relevant, you know, very relevant. With that being said, um, I'm pleading because I'm tired. I'm very tired and I'm exhausted because I've tried everything in the book. Nice, so I've tried to be nice. I've tried everything in the book. Whatever I do, I'm just trying to co-parent. That's just it. Just trying to co-parent, but... This man is making it very difficult for me. I don't, I've moved on with my life. I'm in a very, very, very good place in my life. And I'm asking you, Ubi Franklin, please move on and leave me alone. Please leave me alone. What else do you want? What else? What else do you want? Besides, when we came back from Dubai, sure, I gave you good accolades, say that you did this, you did that, you know? So at this point in time, I just want to let everybody know what's going on. And um, I want to really apologize to a lot of people that are disappointed with my last video because, you know, a point, there's a, you get to a point in life where you just say enough is enough. And this is it for me. I'm not going to say anything to you, B. I'm not, even if you write your shade, your, tro your sobs, you're always throwing here and there. I'm not going to say anything to you. I'm going to, I'm just... This is it for me. This is the end for me. I'm not going to say anything back to you anymore. I've already said my truth, and my tr truth comes with receipts. And you know, I'm not going to come out saying what I don't know. I will say it with proof. With proof. And that's just it.